What's up, y'all? Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. You see I've got some coffee. So, how's everybody doing? You guys doing all right? Thank you so much for all the questions for my future Q&A video. I'm working on that now. I recently played at a funeral and it got me thinking about how important life is and how precious every moment can be and how we should really cherish the relationships that we have with people. So I wanted to go back a little bit and kind of go through some memories and I found this box. This is a box that I made in like eighth grade. It's a memory box of mine and I haven't opened this in years. So I'm actually not entirely sure what is really in this box. So I thought I would record my reaction, obviously, to this mystery box. We're gonna see what's inside and see what mattered most to me growing up. All right, here we go. Whoa. Wow, okay. Uh, <laughs> shoot. Lots of pictures, like tons. Here's an emo day from high school. We dress up all emo-like. I did a lot of uh, theater growing up in high school, so here's lots of photos of me like in costumes, and here's me as a nun in high school. So here's my family photo that Ryan wasn't there for, so I had to do the old-fashioned cutout and put him in the middle. <laughs> so stupid. I was my brother for twin day. I curled my hair, and this is what it came out looking like. Oh, here's me as homecoming king. More pictures of girls. Yes. So this is a picture of my brothers and my sister and I on the first day of school. I think I was in 10th grade maybe. Shout out to Dan, Casey, and Ryan. Shout out to Penny. She was a foreign exchange student my senior year of high school. We became really good friends. More pictures of me and girls. So, this, so my, my older brother did themed birthdays growing up and one of them was Hillbilly. This is a picture of me shirtless in overalls and a hat. That's kind of fun. Had to do some censorship there. I won the mural contest for my entire school so my mural was chosen to be painted on the school walls. So many photos. Ooh, prom ticket. Got papyrus on there. Big shout out to whoever made this ticket. Papyrus is the best font ever. So I have all these different boutonnieres from my past proms. I went to six different proms. I should have bought the tux. I rented it every time. Cost me, well, cost my parents a lot of money. <laughs> They're all dried out. Whoa! Guys, I'm like, this is, this is bringing up all the feels for real. What else do we got in here? <laughs> These are my school ID cards gr growing up. Sixth grade Cameron, seventh grade Cameron, eighth grade Cameron, ninth grade are the same photo. And here's 11th grade Cameron. Hey, comment uh, one of your favorite memories. I'd love to hear them. I wanna be involved with you guys as much as you guys are involved with me. I'd love to hear from uh, the community that I'm growing here. So leave some comments on a couple of memories that you've had growing up. Yes. This was my ticket to Seattle. My first plane trip, when I went to Seattle with my uncle. So shout out to my uncle Johnny Ray Nichols for taking me on my very first plane ride. You guys having the feels like I am? I don't know. Go through some memory boxes. Go find some photos. Think back on all the good times you had and make sure you plan those moments to really make memories with people. Enjoy life. That's kind of what this is all about. I had this thing where I collected my teeth. So I have like, <laughs> I know I'm, I'm kind of weird like that. Uh, my metal cap tooth, I'd smile like it would, tw it would uh, twinkle, but I kept this cap tooth. Kind of gross, but Got some beads. Yes! <laughs> this is, these are awesome. Totally forgot about those. One of the years we got Rumble Robots for Christmas. Does anybody remember Rumble Robots? They're these robots that you battled back and forth and they got to wear armor and they were remote control. It was really cool. But you could like slip these like in the back and power them up. So I have like all these Rumble Robot like power up cards. I was definitely a huge collector growing up. I still am. I used to collect all sorts of things. My mom would always have to like take all the rocks out of my pockets because I would like walk around and find a rock that I liked. In fact, <laughs> rocks. I got like four rocks in here. Yeah. I wanna encourage you guys, again, get out there, make some memories, put them in a box and you get to like, it's kind of like a time capsule. You get to go back in the past and look at all the different things that you've done over the years. There's like a balloon that's like melted to the bottom which is kind of gross. I haven't seen these in forever. These are 
classic. This is like middle school kind of stuff right here. There's some dual fighter cards. My brothers and I, we would collect these stickers. They were like smiley face stickers. They were like emojis before emojis were a thing. You'd put the 50 cents in, you would pull it out, get the sticker, uh, and they would come with these cardboard cards, like the sleeves, if you guys remember that. And we cut all of those out and made our own playing cards based on, I don't know, Pokemon or something. We had those card games growing up. So we'd cut them out. We'd Think of like different uh, attacks, a dragon here. For those of you who love Lord of the Rings, here's Mithril. Remember Kirby, you guys? Here's a trio card. Dude, this is a great find. Maybe we'll bring this back and we'll play it a little bit or something on the channel. So in 10th grade, a girl I liked uh, needed a dance partner. And so I bit the bullet and took ballet and tap for a few semesters. This was the ticket to our recital. Shoot. My very first crush when I was in kindergarten, her name was Mary. We grew up and grew apart. She moved away and then I found her on MySpace and then eventually found her on Facebook and we connected. And my junior year of high school, I actually went to her show. These were the ticket stubs at her show. So here's a picture of our big reunion at, uh, at her show. A lot of crushes in here. This, this is like a, a box of crushes. <clears throat> this it's a note looks like a Valentine's Day note dude I kind of feel like I'm a bit of a hopeless romantic you know the idea of being in love and having a crush and giving presents and all that kind of stuff oh yes so who knows what this is <laughs> it was in gym class the, the softball came down and I, like it landed directly on my thumb and like split my thumb in half basically and it was broken right at the growth plate. I had to wear this like cast thing here. It still fits, dude. So I had to like wear this cast. So I had to get surgery done. They opened me up, they reset my thumb and then they had to stick a pin through it to keep it from moving while it was healing and growing. And guess what guys, I still have the pin. He took it out of me and I was like, wait, don't throw it out. This blue cap kind of like stuck right out of the top of my thumb and so it went in pretty far. I think that's it, you guys. Wow, memory lane is one of the best lanes that I love to walk down. I wanna say a huge shout out to one of my fans, one of my followers, Sophia. I see you, Sophia. Thank you so much for watching my videos every week and uh, hopefully we get to meet face to face someday. So I'm gonna be reading people's comments in future videos. Uh, so if you wanna shout out or you wanna be featured, leave a comment below and Maybe you'll be featured in the next video, who knows? Thanks guys for watching. Hit that like button, crush that subscribe button, and I will catch you in the next. Peace.